in 2014, UNFPA, I guess they changed their mandate. Our program became a service delivery program, right? So, and we know UNFPA may um, focus a lot on advocacy and those areas. So we had to look for other um, sponsor for the program. But what UNFPA did for us, they created that environment. The environment to bring other persons on board. So um, they had a world population day activity, and at that activity, what was done, um, Mr. Florida invited other stakeholders, the private sector, other persons, the public sector, and other youths. They were all involved in that program. What happened? We asked one of our adolescent mothers to share your story, and she shared her story. And I think many persons were touched, the entire audience were very emotional there. And one stakeholder take up that mantle and began to sponsor the program until, until today. So that's the Republic Bank, Guyana Limited, continuing to sponsor that program until today. We recently had a graduation like about, I think it was last Friday. And that's our seventh badge of our um, adolescent mothers that graduated and that make us 475 girls who benefited from our program and if I could just um, briefly give you some highlights of the program so in the program we have some great success first of all I must say it was identified as the best practice even from UNFPA secondly I also should say in Brussels the ACP Women Actors in Development has also identified the program as a best practice. So the program has been recognized because of our work and because of the achievements and results of our adolescent mothers. We have adolescent mothers who traveled or who represent the group in a youth forum in Mexico all that through UNFPA. We had them rec representing the group in um, Grenada, Jamaica. All this was sponsored through um, UNFPA. High level meeting with CARICOM and UNFPA. We had our other set model representing the group very well at these um, conferences and meetings. And I think because of all of that, because they are so empowered now and have moved from one stage to the next, I think they have really grown. And that's a great achievement for women across differences. We have approximately 60% of our girls who went back to school. Not all of them at public schools. We had to have sponsors to allow them to go to private schools, vocational schools, but that was okay for us. We have girls at the University of um, Guyana. So that all those are great um, achievements for us we have girls who open their own small businesses so that's also great for us what i did not say in the earlier um discussion is that the first lady of guyana is women across differences patron so because of that she also facilitated the process of um, maybe sponsoring a few of our girls to go back to school, allowing some of our girls to benefit from other programs which you're going to hear about. I will not speak about it because we have two beneficiaries here and I'm, I will allow them to speak about those, um, those areas.